I want to be a Google Street View car. Isn't that exciting? Sometimes you have an idea for an intro and you realize it doesn't make sense and it doesn't fit. With that in mind, this video, as you can see, is about this thing, the Eagle Scanner. This, this isn't a real one, this is it's a 3D model. But this is the real thing. It has one, two, three, four cameras and this LiDAR bulb that kind of looks like, like the, um, so what's it called? Thin film of a bubble. This is LiDAR. This is the kind of thing you see on um, Google Street View cars. I think that's where I was coming from uh, when I was talking about, I, I, I don't know. But now that the 3D Maker Pro people, this is sponsored, sent this over to me, I figure I can become the Google Street View car. So my girlfriend and I, she was very generous uh, to drive me around as I like stood outside of the car roof. <laughs> Slow down. Sorry, Slow sorry, down. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and I mean, here is how that experience went. So you're gonna make a review of that, of the scanner? I don't even know what I'm doing. You can still do your LiDAR thing. I'm very comfortable in front of the camera. <laughs> He's a natural. <laughs> Before we went into the field of battle, I thought it wise to just try to do a scan first. Actually, I didn't. I, I did it after the fact, but let's pretend I did it first. But it is, it is time. It was time. Of course. Oh, oh. There's not a clip. Oh, oh, oh. Like, I'm afraid I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> Please go so slow. Please go slow. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> I know, I know. I know, I'm good, I'm good. I am clearing it. <laughs> you can see my view, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> Slow down! Slow down! <laughs> Go, go, go! <laughs> Not outside, it's gonna be so cold! I haven't said it's outdoor much. <laughs> Did you say it's outdoor? No, I didn't, because I didn't know we were going outside. Okay, I'm going back. Now, everything you just saw, turns out it was useless because I had the uh, lens cap thing on the entire time, but let's ignore that. I was thinking, why doesn't he just put his hand out of the moonroof instead of his head so he doesn't get decapitated? But I'm not, I dare I uh, mess with Gene, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's definitely working. Like, what am I supposed to do with the car behind me? <laughs> well, I think I didn't secure this fully. Like, what do you mean? This is, there's so much going on. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. This is how like the uh, first generation of them um, the Google Street View did it. Like they didn't make the yeah. attachment yet. How slow do I need to go? I have no idea. <laughs> I've just accepted, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Get the competitor. <laughs> the competitor. Get a shot of the competitor. <laughs> the competition can't be Fucking beat. competitor. <laughs> I hope your scan sucks. Oh, okay, my arm's tired. I'm, I'm bringing it down. Like, I can't no! do it. <laughs> I can't do it. But look, that's exactly the loop we did. Nice. You can see those trees. We'll see it better when we bring it into the computer. I didn't think we could do it. I was very resistant. I thought that the snow particles, like <laughs> the LiDAR, I don't know. I just thought it would be impossible. So I begrudgingly listened and it turns out that was a good idea. Oh, <laughs> oh it's the camera. <laughs> How is that for you? I'm stressed. I know, I know. Yeah, but I knew the 3D Maker Pro people. Is that what their name? 3D Maker Pro. Really? Yeah. So they made a LiDAR scanner? Mm -hmm. A very respectable <laughs> brand. No, a very respectable no, brand. I mean, okay. At this point, we collected the data and it was time to take it and process it with a computer. Now, what I didn't know at the time is what this makes is like, I don't know if it's a proprietary format. It makes a bag file, but I didn't know what software to use at the time. Because again, this is pre-release. So I do have access to the point cloud files at this point, but at the time I had no idea. So we were ranting about bag files. It's no longer true, but it's too funny 
to not keep in. I scan the thing, it makes sense, and then it's like, oh, do you want to open a bag file? What's a bag I file? So you can scan it. Can you open up the file? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'm going to find a solution, but for now. Okay. Where we are. We are scanning. I feel like if you're trying to sell a house or something. No, it's all my house. What is it making? Like a map? I don't know. It's making a bag file. <laughs> <That's what it's... laughs> like bagpipes? Like what's what's a bag file? It's making... <laughs> <laughs> it's making, uh, basically, it's making like a floor plan. You know what it's pipes. doing right now? It's making a bag file. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's Look at that. that is pretty cool. But like, what do you use this for? To make a bag file. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? How do you even open it? You don't do anything with the bag but you file. Can't... Why would you open up a bag file? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh, you could do outdoor scanning. Why don't you go outside? Oh, I haven't made an outdoor bag file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try? Sure. You don't have to. Can you open up the door? I'd like to make an outdoor bag file. Okay. <laughs> go make a bag file. <laughs> so who would have thought the garage scan came out great because I very slowly and methodically, you know, walked around. Uh, the chaos that ensued. I didn't know we were going outside. <laughs> okay. I'm going back. Not so much. So I'm here for round two. I'm going to very calmly and slowly stick this out the window while uh, driving calmly. Yeah, look at that. That's great exposure. I'm going for it. Now, one thing I have to keep in mind is to focus on driving more so than scanning, no matter how amazing of a scan I want. So here you can see the result of the new scan. It came out significantly better because it turns out technique seems to matter at the end of the day. But before we like import the point cloud into Blender and I show you the basics of that, the 3D Maker Pro people want me to tell you that of course the Eagle scanner is now on pre-sale and you can go to the website, you know, to get updated information. But additionally for this video, there is a discount code. It's for $80 slash 80 euros off depending on where you live. There's a link in the description and a code and all that, but let's continue. So now that I got back my data from the people. I converted it into a PLY file. At this point, you do whatever you want, but here's how I like to handle it. So I'm just going to import this in and it's going to be a stupid amount of data, which is good, but you don't want to refine it. So here you can see I have basically 28 million uh, vertices that represents the garage. Going to do a brief alignment. Looks good. And you can see that each one of these points not only stores the position data, of course, but I have a colored point cloud, which is an option if you use those cameras. Instead of vertices, I'm going to turn this into a point cloud because then I can control the radius and I want to get a cross section so that I don't see the top here so that it is actually viewable. To do that, I just need to delete the geometry that's above a certain threshold. So I'm going to look for the threshold where the Z component is greater than some number. In other words, the height is too large. Connect that here. And already, because we have the number zero, which is pretty good, we can see what is going on. And this is a nice way to get like a moving cross section. You can bring down the radius until you can barely tell that there's overlap. And it's a lot of detail, more than I need. Interestingly, the glass it sees right through. I don't know how LiDAR works, but in this case, that's how it happened. To get the actual color data, which is now stored in the points as the color attribute, you just load up that attribute. So I'm going to find the color attribute. I'm going to view it in reference to the point cloud. And now you can see we have colors. Because it was pretty dark in the garage, you know, it's dark in here. I'm going to take the color attribute and I'm going to scale it by like three. In other words, make it three times brighter. And there you go. It does work, which I'm sure is what they want me to show you. And it does. <laughs> 